and welcome to Trending brought to you by Airtel. My name is Kim Opera. And my name is Pascal. Trending brings you everything and everyone that is trending. Before we get into the tea of the day, the we're going to go sip some tea because mm -hmm. the weather is Maybe cold. not so good. Yeah, so be sure to stick around as we come back. Welcome back. Let's get the show started. You know, trending only brings the best of the best. And today, I mean, <laughs> Is none other. At all. We have songwriter and artist Hot Kid in the building. Hot Kid in the building, thank you for coming through. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Nice, nice. First things first, how did you come about this name Hot Kid? Like, who told you you were hot? First things first. <laughs> okay, yeah? Yeah. so um, I used to be Mosh Dollar, actually. Mosh Dollar? Yeah, based on my Mosh name, Mosh Dollar. Oh. Oh. You get, so I was, I was freestyling for, you know, skills, run town. And then run town was like, ah, this boy is a hot kid. So people oh. just started calling me like this boy the old time. It's cute. Jiga, it just said it like you know. So spontaneous. skills and run town they were together. Yeah, they, they were. Uh, it was an emergency stuff. video show with Pato Rankin also. Oh, emergency! Yeah, yeah. Emergency! Yeah, I was in a video. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so really? you know, I was just you know behind the scene, I was just freestyling for you know. Yeah. Like, ah, boy. So people started calling me what's key, what's key, you okay, get so I just yeah. like, oh, I like this mm. name. Well, you so think you're hot, eh? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay. All right. So let's talk about your journey so far in the music industry. How's it been? Man, it's been great actually. You know, not everything has gone well for me, but then Alhamdulillah, that's all I'm gonna say. Mm. No. Fantastic. That's what you're gonna say, alhamdulillah. Means thank God. You have to give us something. Has it been a struggle? Did you? Yeah, yeah uh, definitely. No. Challenges. Like the biggest also, struggle. Uh, uh. Yeah. The biggest struggle, yeah, you know, is just um, not dropping a song for a year. You know, I when just, was that? That was after my first EP. You know, I just didn't drop anything. I thought I just went ghost on it. Why? Why? People. What was the reason for that? <laughs> Man, you know, it's just you know, it was based on the the level of jurisdiction, like. <laughs> Mm. So there was nothing I could do. Were they pushing another artist? Yeah, we had calendars, but then it wasn't just, you know, I don't know, man. Cause was that when you were signed, signed. with uh, Tenny, the same label yeah, with Tenny? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, so would you say they were neglecting you? No, 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 no. I don't know what. <laughs> so I just feel, you know, when you let other people into, you know, your business, they get it, you know, messed up for you. You know, that's what I feel like, you know, because... Basically, like we had our, I had my relationship with my boss, you know, okay. until <laughs> Karen came. <laughs> <laughs> this calendar thing now is is been a very big problem in the industry, literally. Mm -hmm. And are you gonna say that uh, it's part of the things that affect artists, people that are good? That later you know, you, you know, now hear from them, and now see the see or as dull, they're not mm -hmm. good. You have to be consistent, like you know, because Nigerian fan base, I know, like. You don't fans. have chill. Yeah, Do you understand? They get, they get Adele can release a song for five years and she's still gonna go to concert. You're still seeing people screaming that same song. That's but as true. a Nigerian fan base, you need oh, to understand no. that everybody has the same fans. Mm -hmm. A whiskey fans is practically a video fan. That's the same people that are streaming the video to number one. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, so you need to be consistent. You need to keep giving them like you know enough reason to keep up with you. Do you understand? Yeah. To me, man, music is not about calendar, man. If you have a song that you feel is good, to drop it like. So can you explain this calendar term to a layman? Exactly. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Yeah, you know, exactly. Very the thing good. is, if you drop a song here, yeah, like we have 12 months in a year, mm -hmm. do you understand? As an artist, and then you know, on the level of spending on you, you have to understand the fact that the expenses also, like in a situation whereby they are not really making money yet, they're mm -hmm. trying to be careful. Do you understand? But then you never can tell which song is going to blow up. Yeah. <laughs> do you understand? If you work with Kalenda, you I'd have to say, in as much as nobody was promised a hit song, like, you know, you're recording a your song, you're dropping it, not like they're telling you this song is going to blow. blow it's it, because huh? you dropped it and then you pushed and then mm. people loved it, you know, understand? So now the calendar works like this, like, you know, when you drop a song, you can decide that, okay, yeah, from January to April, it's just one song you're going to push. Okay. Do you understand? Oh, okay. Now from April, you have to like bring someone else. And okay. to like, you know, chop oh. song. So, oh. so, so, so it's so like, like time yeah. by time. Yeah. Yeah. You have to wait for like, you know, eight months. Yeah. Before you get to your again, again. So, so why did you have to take a year? Mm -hmm. Were they pushing it for a whole year? They didn't feel like they got what they wanted from the speculated time. So no. they went on to the other The thing artists. is, people, people who knew me, they know right from my very first project, I blew up. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. like, that's what I said. Drop Ozana and that chat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you understand? So yeah. when I dropped my first song, Ozana, you know, it was everywhere. The likes of, you know, Watch Poppy, David Doe, all of them was posting it. Do you understand? That's how big it was. If you can remember, I said, when you let people start giving you different opinions, you get yeah. confused. Yo, okay. It's just like a relationship if you're with your girl. 
and then someone will like, that girl, you know, few say, mm-hmm. you know, so few say, few say, don't be plenty, so you don't mm-hmm. even know you what to do. Yeah. So yeah. that's the thing, you know. Yeah. So that's basically what happened. Because they were pushing another person, is that the reason why you didn't drop a song? <laughs> it just depends on your perception. You know, don't give me perception. <laughs> it's not, but it's, it's what? what you said. Yeah, you know? So is it that, said, yeah. is it that like you had songs okay, recorded yeah, okay, that were not released? Okay, you know, things just went, uh, it wasn't supposed to go. Now let me just play it that way. Okay, I think we understand that kind of thing now. Okay. Okay, okay, so, okay. Moving on to the better times, you sang Otilo with Pokoli. Poco. Which, like you said, your songs are always bangers. Which was a hit. <laughs> was a hit record. And you've gone further to produce, you know, so many other songs. Mm-hmm. What would you say is your driving force to that? To so, Otilo or Like, just generally, yeah, like, leaving the... You're no longer with your label, right? Yeah. Exactly. So after your life, you know, with your label, how's that been and, you know, what has been driving you? You know, because my biggest motivation, honestly speaking, I, ca- I don't want to go back to where I came from. Do you understand? I keep reminding myself that, bro, <laughs> at the point in my life, I could have come back. Do you understand? But the moment I escaped it, I said, nah, this shit is going to happen to me. Do you understand? So big shout out to Pokoli, man, you know. <laughs> Because Foko, Foko is just somebody, everywhere I go to, I praise him. Do you mm-hmm, understand? Because mm-hmm. he doesn't do things for the ground. At he all. Has, he has helped a lot of people without even getting anything from it. It's that real. Like, do you if I was off camera, I would still say the same thing. Do you understand? Yeah. When I reached out to Foko Lee, like, Foko had nothing to lose, nothing to, like, you know, being on Odilo. Yes. He was doing well for himself. I told him I had a song, I wanted him to be on. He did it for me. Bro, there was, if you see the flood on the island that day, I myself couldn't drive. Poco pulled up for me and I was like, bro, do you understand? And the day before that day, it was just a whiskey. <laughs> do you understand? But you know, there's some people that, you know, the moment they are with someone like that, a caliber of person like that, they'll yeah, be like, they will oh, not this guy texting want me. To. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? But then he did, he sent me, said, I like this jamu. I was coming back from Ubi's house that day. Yeah. Do you understand? Like, when he sent me a video first, the next day he came to record it. So, you know, after then, I figured, because I told myself, when I left the label, I asked myself, I said, is it just the audience I don't have, or is it just that I'm not good? Do mm. you understand? I told myself that thing, you know, I wrote it on my note. I said, see, if I do this song with Pokoli and it blows it, I'm not the fault. Do you understand? That shows that I just needed that audience. Exactly, to consume, to music. consume your music. Do you understand? So, yeah. And I'll tell you this thing, for Free Till was a zero problem. Every yeah. single influencer that I used it was not paid. And that was Poco's effect. You said you reached out to him. Like, yeah. how did you envision him being on the track? How did you know that that was the person you needed to be on the track yeah. with you? Initially, I recorded Otilo in Puju's house, in his room. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't end up using the beat because that was quite slow. It was a kind of Buju kind of beat. Okay. But it was, oh yeah, so it was kind of slow. But I told myself, I said, ah, man. Because all my mind was, you know, I was just thinking, I was like, Bro, I don't even have this funds to push this song. So how am I gonna do it? Do you understand? I just need someone that had that audience. And immediately, it just happened. Like it was just so quick. Like it just happened. Pokoli posted. Ah, oh, you saw his post. <laughs> I saw his post, I was like, yeah. Random post. A random, random post with whiskey. He posted a picture of him and whiskey. <laughs> do you understand? He was with whiskey that, at that moment when I texted him. He oh. could have ignored me. Mm-hmm. You know, there are people like that, they would uh, I do with Machala, what the fuck? Do you understand? Yeah. So he responded to me like real quick and he told me to send the song to him that if he likes it he will do it that was his word do you understand mm. if i like it i go run him. and i sent him the song then the next day he just sent me a video of him vibing his song he said bro when we the enter studio <laughs> <laughs> do you wow, understand that was it man before the song came out he started posting the song he started doing everything like going to clubs i know how much Aww. i was spent going to a club oh, to play geez. my song exactly he did everything for me and he didn't even look back that bro, I did this thing for you, do this thing for me too. Well, you and you guys did not fight yourself on the internet nah, either. Man, we can't like, <laughs> <you know? laughs> that's a real one, right? That's an helper. That's, 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 that's what they call helper. Well, some not people don't appreciate that. You know, no, there are a lot of people that will go for and start exactly, fighting. Exactly. You know, we'll we'll we've had situations, right. we've had people come on. <laughs> you, to talk about similar yeah. situations. But on your neck now, you have an uh, uh, image of Melbad. And who's the other person? His that's mom. my mom. <laughs> Fantastic, fantastic. So, you know that uh, Moba just passed, yeah. all right? And uh, your record label was trying to push you on the side, all right? Mm. I feel like that's one of the reasons why you left. That's public yeah, opinion. That's one of the, your popular you know, opinion. Not, that's not, one of the reasons why you left. Not, and that's what anybody yeah. want to emphasize in their head. That, okay, yeah. what's that? Now, the reason why this guy come out mm-hmm. is 
at what point do you think um, record label and artist should draw the line, really? You know, it was when I had a song with Bado and it wasn't released. I did two songs with Bado. Bado said, one is for you, one is for me. Do you know what it means for? Now, this is how I met Bado. I met him in the club. And that very day, Bonaboy was there, Fino was there. They were all in the same section. And I went to meet him and I prostrated for him. I don't know, Bado is just a spiritual man. He knew what I wanted. I never asked Bado for a song. Bado said, I'll text you tomorrow. <laughs> like, you know that kind of feeling? Like, all what was in my head was, ah, I'll make, give me song. <laughs> <laughs> I never said it. He just yeah. looked at me and smiled. I didn't even know what to say because at that point, I don't knew I needed something. Yes. And he told me then it, the next day, you know, when I went to meet Bado, we were together all through, just me, him, and the producer. Do you understand? When we did the song, I sent, I played it, you know, they were giving me this vibe of, I could tell this song wasn't drawn and Do you get? As why? Like, so you're, reasons, what, what reasons were you given? Honestly speaking, I don't know. So from where. the countenance that they were giving him when he was playing the song, am I right? You like, already knew that this song, they were not going to drop this song. They were not going to drop it because, you know, when I sent him the song, the first thing he told me was, he doesn't like the song. The song that Bado was... was <laughs> I didn't see no reason why you shouldn't like a Bado song because you need to understand, some songs are not, are just there to take you to the to next take, level. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Remember has a song with Drake, he has a song with, do you understand? It's just to take you to the next, not like that's the biggest song. Exactly. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I just said, you know what, I just have to leave, man. Even if I have a song with Justin Bieber tomorrow. Because Bado kept on constantly texting me for that song. He's like, for like three months. Wow. Do you get like that's to show you well, how. What explanations do you want to I was to taking give? all the blame. I was like, you know, I I don't want to drop the song because I have a calendar and work. Do you understand? So mm -hmm. it's just how it is, you know. So that's why anytime I see Portable doing what he's doing, I just don't blame him because a closed mouth is a closed destiny. 100%. There's some people that are ready to help you, but they need you to talk. Yeah. You got to talk for yourself. You get mm -hmm, it? So, mm -hmm. You know, I, I know look at where he is today. <laughs> exactly. So mm -hmm. that's just the thing, man. But I have the last two, man. A big shout out to Badu. So there's this speculation, right, that artists tend to lose their relevance or struggle after leaving a record label. You know, how true is this? You know, the thing is, first of all, you, you start getting your mind around negativity because you feel you can't do without, you know, certain people in your life. Me, I told myself, the way that I left, I said, I wrote it, like what I said earlier, I said, if I do a song and I don't, and you know, with, uh, with a popular person and it doesn't blow up, then I'm the issue. Exactly. I told myself that thing. I said, but if I do it and it goes well, then, they were then the issue. I'm not the issue. Exactly. You understand? That means I had good stuff. You had good was, stuff, but you, I never they even knew Otilo. I never knew Otilo was going to come I, on everything I love. I just said it. Mm -hmm. You know, I told myself. I said, like, I really need to know if I was actually the problem. Yes. Do you understand? The way Otilo blew up, it like it blew bigger than Ozana times mm -hmm. ten thousand times. Mm -hmm. I went to Australia. They were screaming Otilo, white people. Surprised. Hmm, Australia is very far. Do you for get, anyone that doesn't know. Do you get <laughs> very My very song far. was being do you understand? A zero yeah. promo song. Now imagine I had the money to push to that push song. To push that song. So I've gone further than that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you get well well that's we thank God that God is not man. I tell you, man. I tell you. We thank God that God is not man. Uh you recently stuff. made an appreciation mm -hmm. post uh in which you acknowledged, you know, the names that we've already called Pokovi, mm -hmm. Olamide and the late Mobad. Mobad. Yeah. So did you have a personal relationship with Mobad? Yeah, I did. I met Mobad in 2018. It was a challenge, like a, a freestyle challenge way um, for Badusha, who did challenge. Mm -hmm. So, you know, after we did the challenge, it was like a, a debate, because people were like, you know, is it Mobad or Earth Kid? Because people were just, you know, selecting the two of us at the, one of the artists freestyle on the, on the rap challenge. Oh, nice. I told him, man, I love your video. You understand? We started talking, you know, we exchanged WhatsApp and started talking. It was like, well, then he was still in the corridor, you know, so he called, so we spoke, you know, and then we linked up, we took a picture together, you know, he was just a cool guy. Like, I've always said this thing to my guys, so I said, well, why not get stressed? So, but yes, did you guys I know just that people were facing the same issues in I didn't know. I, everything didn't I love. That's why, that's one of the reasons why I had to like even like put him close to my heart. Because I didn't even know he was, he had his own face of life, like he was going through, he had his own challenges. Wow. When he did a song with me, I reached out to another person initially, like it was even online. I, you know, I, you know, I don't want to mention the person, but people who are following me then know the person. Do you understand? So my brother just reached out to me privately. He was like, bro, if you don't mind, I feel do this thing for you. Do you understand? And then he did it for me. 
the apartment we recorded the song, he paid for it. But last was there that day. We had paid for the apartment. I just figured, you know, I don't try to get into people's personal business because, yeah. bro, you just have to mind your business. So mm -hmm. I was just, if I just asked him, bro, you okay? Say, so, yeah, I'm good. I didn't really go deep too yeah. much because, mm -hmm. do you get? So, you know, he, after he did it, it was like, he still, you know, he still texted me about this. When is the drop? When is the song dropping? Oh, let's do a content. Oh, pull up. Can you understand? I never knew anything. Honestly, wow. he never told, and that's why, you know, sometimes, like, you just have to talk. Do you yeah. understand? So, I never knew anything, honestly speaking. Okay. Talking about, you know, you, know, the, you also had conversations about you dealing with hard times. Mm -hmm. Was there a time that you, would you think that you, you went through depression? As, as I, I went through depression, and like, I was suicidal. Do you understand? Like, cause, Tell us about it. <laughs> You know, basically, I, I texted my mom that night. I said, oh, mom, I don't try my best. Do you know? Like, it, it sounds different when the fact that I'm still alive, but if I'd, my enemy had gone that time, they would have felt that I don't need anybody to pity me because we're humans, we're all like, we have that fakeness to ourselves. Like, hey, she do you understand? But me, I'm a survivor. Thousands of millions of people didn't survive it. Do you understand? So, be shout out to my mom, man. Immediately, she saw the text. She called me. She came to the island, straight up. These are things that people know about. So was this when you were still with the label or after <laughs> yeah, the label? Yeah, after the label, I didn't get depressed again. <laughs> yeah. Okay, for the most recent conversation, you know, you were recently arrested. Yeah, in Ghana. Following an alleged fraud case yeah. by a show promoter yeah, using so, your name. <laughs> yeah, you know. How did that feel? So I went to Ghana for, for an event, do you understand? So, you know, we're done with the stuff I came for. And it was, he had some outstanding balance. He had to balance us up. I never knew he had, you know, a conversation with some other people that, oh, he was going to bring odd kids to this place, you know? He had collected money from them already. Do you get? So I had no idea of, of stuff like that. I was just waiting. Back. No, we were to, do you understand? He brought us for some events. But then he now, you know, had a deal with different other oh. people. Do you understand? So. Some of the ladies slide because they feel, oh, that's how hard to start. You know, they just go around spoiling. Yeah, they'll be like, I, exactly. I, I didn't call them for shit again. I say they got. But there was a lady that didn't let it slide. Mm. She just pulled up with police to my apartment. Bro, I just woke up seeing guns and everything. I'm like, ah. You know, they were just like, oh, I should come. Do you want to? I said, bro, come for what? I might, like, when I. <laughs> and this is not my country. I can't even. Do you understand? I called the guy. The guy said, oh, yeah, that is coming, this and that. I was like, bro, I don't understand. You paid this, they paid this money to your account, not me. Like, I shouldn't even be having these altercations with them. Like, yeah. bro, do you understand? I don't know them before. I've never Wait, seen these places they even know before. Where you, were staying? you know, they gave, you know, they got to know now, definitely, because I've been there for a while. Okay. To cut the long story short, yeah, you know, like, he paid them their money, but he didn't pay me because I left Ghana already. But they figured they had nothing to do with me. Exactly. Do you understand? Because I didn't collect, there was no transaction. Came out to, to apologize, though. You know, he didn't, actually, because. But people would know very well. He has done it for a couple of artists. I don't want to mention their names. Nigerian artists. You know, they, they started reaching out to me like, ah, this guy, and he said it's fetish, kind of. Like, he does it a lot, so you're not going to say anything. But me, I'm the first person to come out and like, oh, I posted this picture, like, you know. That's why my mom is an allergic. So all those kind of things cannot even get to me. Do you understand? Yeah, <laughs> so, right. like, I'm just so Oh, that's good. That's good to know because, you know, such people should actually be brought yeah, to, yeah, yeah, to yeah, justice. Actually, actually. What next for what Hot Kid? What yeah, should we expect yeah, from my, you? I'm dropping my project next year, my album, my first album. Mm. So I'm dropping my album next year. So by, you know. So who do you have on it? Who do you have on it? No one's stopping me. You know, it's a surprise actually. Ah, you have to give us a few names. In fact, <laughs> I already know Pokoli and Bado, they are there. I well, <laughs> it's a surprise. <laughs> I'm telling you. Exactly. Pokoli and Bado, they are there. Yes. It's a definitely good day. Uh -uh. But it's, it's a surprise, like I said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. I'm giving you guys tips. Don't worry. Now I got you guys. As always. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> <That's just laughs> All right, thank you so much Appreciate for it, having man. this chat with us. We'll be going on a short break and we'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. It's still trending Vertigo by Airtel. My name is Pascal. And right now, I have Hot Kid with me who's about to play some uh, games with me. Right now, we'll start with the fast five questions. I ask you some questions mm -hmm. and your answer is later than 60 seconds. Are you ready? All right, let's, let's go. Get started, my brother, go ahead. What's the first thing you do in the morning when you wake up? I pray. Pray, good. What's the first song you ever wrote? Prayer, I think. Prayer. Yeah. Are you style or Thames? Thames. Why Thames? <laughs> 
a song by Vidya Koja. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm so just kidding. The best advice you've ever got. Just be consistent, man. Consistent. Like, just be consistent. Very, very key. Uh, one night stand or a movie date? A movie date. Are you sure? Hot mm -hmm. key. Anyway, bread and beans or beans and egg? Bread and beans. Bread and beans. Uh, favorite color? Black. Black. Right, that's what you're rocking right now. Uh, which celebrity annoys you the most? No one. No one. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. What is your favorite season of the year? Um, Ramadan. Ramadan. Yeah. Okay. When was the last time you made out? I'm not sure about that. Man. No, no. When was the last time you made out? No. It's not appropriate for me. No, to no. Come on. Yeah. When was the last time? Last month. Last year. Yesterday. <laughs> last year. Exactly. Last year. Yeah. All right. Copy that. Okay. What's your favorite part of your body? My mouth. Your mouth. Yeah. Copy that. All right. It's still trying to brought to you by Airtel. And when we return, Hot Kid, Kim, and I will be on the set together. Stick around. Then go nowhere. Welcome back. You're still watching Trending brought to you by Airtel and we still have Hot Kid with me and Pascal in the building. Exactly. And we'll be delving right into the video or picture of, of the, the day. Let's direct your attention to the uh. screen. Let me see. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, man. Uh-uh. Oh, man. This is... Uh... Yeah, this is another kind of. Oh, this is cute. How old are you here? I this can't like remember. Very... This, was, this was the year I got signed, though. Oh. But, but I wasn't signed there, though. I just got signed. But the year you got signed, yeah. 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 Look at how you've, you've, you've added like 10 kg. Yeah. How does it feel, like, you know, looking back, you know, on your journey? Well, it feels to where you great, are though. now today. It feels great because, you know, when Pado said some of them died, some of them did for prison. <laughs> Do you understand? Like, you know, so many of my guys back then, you know, a lot of them, I just, I just thank God for my whole life because it could have been me too. Yeah. yeah. True that, true that, true that. I don't tell you my story to motivate you. I just tell you my story so you can, you know, learn from my mistakes. Mm -hmm. You understand? You can learn that more. You know, the funny thing is that I never knew there was depression. Now, let me just tell you this story real quick. In 2020, early 2020, Ashake was in my room. I was like, Mod kid, I did depressed too. Me, I know the movie did not sign. I just say, ah, depression, okay. Ashake told you that he was depressed. everything. <laughs> Ashake is my bed mate. Do you get? He was sleeping in my room. Then he didn't, he didn't have an apartment. So he was just shuffling people's apartment. Do you get? He was in my room that very night. I was like, how many is doing? I mean, how, which, how long does he want to do this? Do you understand? Me, I was like, you know me, I was still chaining him up because. Ah, me, he did not sign. Do you understand? Yeah. I never knew what was in my front. So was, you know. You were like, man, I don't understand. See, I just saw that one. Do you understand? So, oh, well, where my home going to eat me like this? <laughs> it's, a, it's a script. So, you know, yeah. that's why I tell people here. Yeah, you people are people. People can, you know, they would. It's easier when you you're not in that position. You start giving them opinion. You start having so just ah, sure. you could have done it because it was not you that wanted. You're not there. Do you understand? So you go get plenty of opinion. Ah, but boy, they matter shit. You have done this. You have nah. Come on, man. If it's just you yourself, if you don't buy, yeah. if you don't get that man, you have not get. You get so when I see some people in some situation, I just feel bad for them because like, don't don't judge, don't say, don't have any opinion, because come on, you are not perfect. You're not. You're not. Your you're your, not. your God will save you. Do you understand? Do you think they today are happy that they went through that thing? Yeah. Before I was like that, I was like, ah no, it can't be. Come on, it can't be me. You you go on social media, you say, oh they they kill three people in this place. You'll be like, ah that's why I don't go to no. It can't be you too. It can't just be where you are. Do you understand? So do you get like, like I just I just saw. I just saw the blink of life, not like I saw life. Yeah. <laughs> because I was like, life just showed me something. Like, showed you that. Do you yeah. get so? Come on, like you just have to. That's 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 man. When you pulled out, that's grace. But I got one question for you before we let you go, though. <laughs> um, so I know that uh, everybody know that you're a fine boy, but um, have you used this? Like, let's talk about the the women now, the way the female fans, how they warm up to you. From the start, you see, yeah, yeah, how they, how they warm up to you. Have you ever used this particular position to actually, the, the, the favorite girl that you like, you just... Like I said, yeah, you know, it's, it's just a choice thing. Do you understand? I don't smoke, mm. I don't drink. Not because I can't decide to smoke now. I just, you know, it's just something yeah, that... but you don't, you don't womanize as well. I don't womanize. I, I love food. You don't womanize, but you love food. <laughs> I can't food. tell with the that he had <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a figurative expression. Do you, do you understand what he said? Yes, he no. said, I don't womanize, but I love food. Yes, he likes food. It. He loves food. Huh? Anyways. Ah. <laughs> you don't understand. I don't. I'm a woman. I can never understand you guys. 
All right, thank you so much for coming on the show. We wish you nothing man. but the best. Yeah, we, we wish you nothing man. but the best as you go forward. Amen, we hope Amen. to hear more testimonies when you come Inshallah. back in the future. Inshallah. All right, guys, it's a wrap for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Pascal. And my name is Kim Upper. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms. On Instagram is at official hip TV, on Twitter or X and YouTube is at hip TV. Till we see you again next time. Don't forget to keep it moving.